सो वॉट इज़ अ पीपल वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज डॉकर फॉर डेवलपर्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना टॉक अबाउट डॉकर बेसिक कमांड्स वी विल बी कवरिंग ऑल द बेसिक कमांड्स ऑल यू नीड टू नो एंड वी विल ट्राई हैंड्स ऑन दीज कमांड्स ऑन द टर्मिनल सो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सम बेसिक डॉकर कमांड्स ऑफ आवर फर्स्ट कमांड इज डॉकर रन वी विल सी लेट्स रन दिस कमांड डॉकर रन हेलो वर्ल्ड सो दिस कमांड इज सेंग हेलो फ्रॉम डॉकर so what this command actually do so first it creates a container from the image that we specify so as here we specify hello world image so it will create a container from the image and then it will start that container and it will show us the message from that container that is saying hello from docker so as you see here docker in this command docker refers to docker client and run is basically a command that we want docker server to do and this is the image name like we are saying hello world right the next command is docker images so if we want to see like all the present images in our local machine so how we can see that we can basically run this command docker images and it will show us all the images that exist on our local machine so if we pull any other image from docker hub to our local machine let's pull redis so it is pulling the redis image from the docker hub and now if we run that command docker images so it will show us all the images like now it is it is showing redis image also here right so our next command is docker search how you can search your images from docker hub directly you can basically run this command docker search jenkins if we want to search the image for jenkins so it it is saying that jenkins is deprecated and we can see this jenkins image so if we want to pull this image also we can pull basically like this we are saying docker pull jenkins so it will pull the jenkins image also from the docker hub and now if you see your images so you can see your jenkins image also here right so this is the same pull command so if you want to pull any image from your docker hub you can basically run your docker pull command now if you want to create a container without running it immediately you can run docker container create command so also you can run docker create command so create command basically create the container only but it will not run your container so if you run docker create so i am saying like which container i want to create from which image i need to specify the image name here like if i say here node js so i am saying node so it will download that node image so it downloaded the node image and it created a container from it so if you want to see like which container are present in your local machine you can run docker ps so docker ps means your process status right so docker ps command only show you only running containers but you if you want to sh show like all the containers that are stored so you can run docker ps a so it means all so it will show you these containers also like it is saying all it is showing all the stopped container also right here so it is saying node hello world hello world and hello world right so if you want to start any containers just like if you create a container i am saying docker create we can specify a name to our container also so i am saying my hello container and i am saying hello world so it created a container from the hello world image and the container name is my hello container right but it is not run yet so how you can run that you can just say docker start a a means you can attach to your container and here you can specify your container name or container id so here you can see the same message uh, we are getting that we were getting uh, from that docker run command right so docker run command is basically a combination of docker create and docker start so instead of uh, manually creating and starting our container we can directly docker run our docker run like it will create and run our container directly so this is for 
listing our running and stopped container so we can run docker ps and how we can stop a container that is running so let's see how we can run a container in the background so let's run redis container docker run we can specify a flag hyphen d for background running and we are saying so our docker container is created and it is running now so if you do docker ps so our you can see our container is created and it is running now so you can see status up now if you want to stop this container you just need to run this stop command and you just need to paste your container id so your container is stopped now if you run now docker ps so our container is gone but this container is stopped only this is not removed right so if you want to remove this container you just need to run docker rm and container id so now your container is removed from your local machine right so if you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching